going to ask you a few questions about your background. Um, have you always lived in Marlboro? Or, no. no? Well, where else did you live? I was born in France. Mm -hmm. Born outside. Well, near Paris. My parents lived in Paris. Mm -hmm. so I was born there. Okay. And. Okay. And it was, incidentally, it was, brand, it was a new hospital. So I, was born, I was the first child to be born in that, and my mother was the first patient to come mm -hmm. into it. It's a place called the American Hospital mm -hmm. outside of Paris. Um, why did you move to Marlborough? Well, I've been living in France, and you know, World War II was mm -hmm. on, and things were getting pretty sticky, and I just thought that my family was over here, a friend and I were living in France, and we thought that it would make more sense to come and live for our families who were around. And I didn't know anything at all about the USA. I visited once when I was a child, but I read a lot about Vermont, and it sounded nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I came here. <laughs> when was it? This was, oh, it's way back, <laughs> in the 40s. Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, you know, World War II was on, and we got, the U.S. got into World War II shortly after that. Here, so mm -hmm. it was a good thing. And how many, how many years have you been here since? Well, let's see, World War II started in 42. So add that up. It makes us an awful lot of years. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, and did you always live in the South in the first place? Or? I was, yes. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon. I mean, I, I started looking, I was living with a friend, and we started looking around mm -hmm. at places, and I found this house which had not been fixed up at all. It was just an old phone house. Mm -hmm. um, how would you describe yourself when you were a child? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a, I was bright and good and obedient and don't pay attention to what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just being funny. <laughs> well, I guess I was just like most children. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I, you know. I, 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 I remember my childhood yeah. with pleasure. I mean, it was nice. Yeah. yeah. And um, may I ask how old you are? Or oh. If it's a personal question, we don't need the answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mind telling you. I'm 94. Mm -hmm. I, don't um, I don't know how. My mother used to say, I never planned to live this long. That is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, how did you go to college? I went to art school. Mm -hmm. And um, do you think it's better to learn how to make art in an art school or on your own? I think there are certain things that you have to learn in art school. You can't just do it on your own. Mm -hmm. Or if you do, it takes much longer. And I mean, there are certain basic things that you have to do. I mean, it's sort of like cooking in a way. Yeah. You know, you know, you know the basic things, but if you really want to do something good, better yeah. <laughs> have a cookbook with you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, whose work or what style of art do you feel? has influenced your own work the most? Uh, uh, there's so many, really. I can't pick any one particular person. Mm. Could you give some examples? Like, okay. Well, I mean, a lot of the early painters of the 16th, 17th century, 17th, mm. 18th, 19th, Impressionists, mm. and post-Impressionists, all those different paintings that you see. Mm going around. And um, how many years did it take you to be, become a professional artist? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, ne I never, I mean, I went to a certain school. I went to a, an art school and studied for about three years. Mm -hmm. Most of it, I just worked on my own. Mm -hmm. 
And have you done any other jobs to be an artist? Uh, well, I guess I've, I've done some other work. Well, what were they? You know, I worked as a photographer's assistant. Mm -hmm. I studied and worked my way through as an apprentice for several years. I worked as a photographer, and this was in Trout, so I'm still there. But since since I've been over here, I've been busy. Well, a lot of the time getting the house in order and raising enough food and all that kind of stuff to be able to do during the year or two. Mm -hmm. um, for how many years have you had your studio in town? I bought it in 1942, so you can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you, can no, do <laughs> you can do the math. It's a long time, anyway. Well, it was in terrible shape, and it was really run down. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. I was here with a friend. We got good, good local work people to fix it up, and we did the nice job. Mm -hmm. What are some of the reasons that you have continued to be an artist? What's that? What are some of the reasons why you have continued to make art or be an artist? Well, because I like it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I yeah. mean, it's hard work. It's, it's frustrating. You know, it drives you nuts. But it, it is fun. And then mm -hmm. something comes out, comes off and looks okay. Yeah. You know, it's a, yeah. I like to do it. You know, it's a good idea to have an occupation. I like what I do if I didn't kind of just, yeah. just, just sit around. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. What would you say has changed over your career? Change here? Yeah, like when you first started to the changes now. Like what's changed? Up, up here, I mean locally. Yeah. yeah. Oh, a lot. Yeah. Well, for one thing, you can get around in a car. Yeah. <laughs> it used to be the mud season. The mud season was something. Yeah. I mean, for sometimes for weeks, and also the plowing wasn't the way it is now. Yeah. For weeks. I'd have to walk down to the road there to get my mail. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes I couldn't get out of the wall. Yeah. You know, it, was, it was rough. Yeah. It really was. Um, how did you decide what to paint? Like... Well, I don't decide. I do a lot of outdoor sketching and mm. things that look nice. And you know, I make drawings and then I put them together into a painting. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of the time it doesn't work out, and every now and then it does. And so, yeah. Keeps me out of mischief. <laughs> um, okay. mm -hmm. What would you describe your process of making a painting? Like, how would you describe it? Uh, but I do a lot. I do a lot of preliminary drawings. I have sketch, a ton of sketchbooks, mm -hmm. and drawings from around about, and so on. And then I look over them and I see something that I think I might work and do a painter painting. Just mm -hmm. work, you know, when I work, I work with stuff that I've screwed up in sketchbooks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. What have you worked with, or have you worked with other materials and paint? No, I mean, it's, I mean, it's mostly in the drawing, drawing and painting field. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't really worked, I haven't worked in sculpture or anything uh, else. Okay. What people or, or experiences would you say have influenced you in your personal life? And away, yeah. Well, I mean, an awful lot was, of course, I had not, I had expected to go on living in France, mm -hmm. and so I would say that maybe World War II was what shook things up most. So that's when I came over mm -hmm. and decided that you know I'd be living here for quite a while, and I thought perhaps I'd go back to France. And when I settled down, found the house, and got going, and I decided I might just as well stay. Yeah. Uh, um, do you sell your work in galleries or from your studio? I always hope to. 
<laughs> Sometimes I do. <laughs> yeah, I show some. I show. I show them in New York City, mm -hmm. and I show them in Brattleboro too. Mm -hmm. you know, there's a gallery there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who is a typical buyer of your work? A typical, a typical buyer. Like who? Typical? Like, no. No, I never know. I mean, people have bought things and, I mean, I have a, a list of all the people who mm -hmm. bought things. I show the people who bought them and it's a very mixed lot. Yeah. I mean, some are in New York and some are up here and mm -hmm. some are elsewhere and in France. Um, could you describe a typical day at work? Well, well, I usually work in the morning mm -hmm. before I get, but I'm still fresh. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so usually I'll, I'll work upstairs in my studio in, in the morning from about, I would say, 9 to 12, 9 to 1, sometimes again in the afternoon. But, but usually my work day is about four or five hours. Mm -hmm. um. Um, what do you feel are the more important parts of your job? My job as a painter? Yeah. Well, just paint something that I think is nice. Yeah. And, you know, that's not as easy as all that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, you know, it's just a thing that I do because I feel it's, it's what I'm probably best at doing, at least what I want most of the time. Whether it's good or bad, I can't say it to other people decide. Yeah. Okay. What are some of the parts of your job that you like? Well, of course you like to paint and make. Yes, yeah, so I paint and make drawings. Um, well, I like the garden. Very fine of gardening. Mm -hmm. I like to have a nice garden. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but with all that, yeah. Are there any parts of your job you dislike? Well, not really. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I mean, I like it better when something turns out well, and I'm not very <laughs> <laughs> comfortable when it doesn't. But that's part of how it goes. Yeah. Okay. Um. What do you see as the future of your work in Mara? Well, I don't, I mean, I don't, I, I think that I'm known as a painter mm -hmm. here, but, you know, there's no, and some people have bought paintings and some have to I mean, it's not a place where you're going to make a big reputation. Mm -hmm. Marlboro, that's a pretty small yeah. town, you know. But I've also exhibited in other places. I tell you, in New York. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. Um, is there anything else about your life or work that, You'd like to mention that I haven't asked you about? Well, I can't really think of anything. But, you know, I like to travel very much. I've oh. traveled a lot in, in Europe and in the States, too. I've visited a lot of interesting parts of the USA. I've gone out to um, Arizona a couple of times. Mm -hmm. and you ever been out there? Yeah, my aunt actually lives out there for busy Arizona. Uh huh, uh huh. Yep. So we were out there visiting her. Yeah. I don't know how. I think it was like six. Well, you we probably don't remember a whole lot. Of I don't that. remember a lot. No. Uh, well, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. It's very different. Yeah, it is. And certainly the times in January and Arizona were probably Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think one of the things I remember most is up on a hill, there's a bee painted in white, the busy. Mm -hmm. So if you're flying over, you would see a bee on the top oh. of the hill. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. And yeah. would you like to show us your um, no, studio? Sure. Okay. okay. Thank you. Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay, tell me. Now I have to get through here. Here, I can move this one. My goodness, this is certainly have set up a lot of barricades. <laughs> and one thing I mustn't do is fall because I fall and I break something. Yeah.
Yeah. Okay, what's that? That's okay. Now, if I just look out, I can go there. Wow. Wow. You see, that's the fire. Now, when you think of people living in this house, mm -hmm. there's only that fireplace in winter. Yeah. Or... I don't know how they survive. <laughs>